The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the September 8th, the uh, wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We need to make that one little two by four shift. It means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. More important than that, though, is that during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead. Send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got all the indices trading in the same direction to the downside. The Dow's off 80. S&P's down 9. NASDAQ is 100. off 79. Russell, 20. Semis are off 50. Trannies are down 46. You've got gold off 4 bucks. Silver down 37 cents. That's 1.5%. Lights recruit up 70 pennies. She's trading out at 69.05. Natural gas, a big day out here, up 30 cents. That's a little over 7, 6%. She's trading at 487. 30 year Treasury up 15 ticks. Trading at 163 and 33. 30 seconds. Lead the charge. Dollar wise, the upside. You can see you got ICU medical up 65 bucks or 31%. Chipotle, $18. That's about 1%. Spectrum Brands Holdings up 19%. 15 buck Rooney's Align Technology, 1470. That's up 2%. To the downside, Shopify's off 44 bucks, nearly 3%. Mercado Learbay down 38. 2%. Merc uh, Booking Holdings is down 18 bucks and change. That's 8 tenths of a percent. Google's off 15. That's a little over 3% to the uh, downside. So the first question. Uh, let me just get the first question uh, out of the way here uh, is uh, for Mr. Bill inside the Tiger's Den. And his question is, could we talk a little bit about the VIX behavior and uh, specifically what he was looking for was on this chart here. The green arrows represent days where the spot volatilities has a one day rate of change. That means yesterday's close compared to today's close below minus 10 percent. And when we get those signals below minus 10 percent, uh, we then what that generates for me is an initiation signal, initiation to higher price. And uh, Mr. Bill's question was, does that signal go in both directions? So, Mr. Bill, we've got the minus 10 percent rule that I use and is shown here on the charts works really well. And then we have the plus 10 percent rule, which was yesterday. And in the plus 10 percent rule, we have a one day rate of change above plus 10 percent. What that signals to us, we should see a bounce or a bottom within 48 hours. Typically, it's been within the last 24 hours as of late. Today, uh, not so fast on that, but we're going to go take a look at the short term time frame charts. So that's the first element about the VIX. So when you say does it go in the same direction, I already have a plus 10 percent and you know how we use that in a minus 10 percent. You know how we use that. So um, I don't have any initiation signal to lower price, which I think is really the question that you're asking. The initiation to lower price really inside the S&P 500. So we're dealing with the ES mini and the S&P 500 for signals here in order to to really put all that together. What we would need to do is uh, really go to this page and let me see how quickly this will update. I've got a bunch of things running right now. So if this doesn't update right away, we'll come back to it. What I'm looking for here are the uh, profile levels. Now, this is going to show us the bottom of the uh, profiles, the bottom of the daily and the uh, weekly out here. And what you can see here off of the ES mini, uh, the ES mini since the March uh, 2020 low out here, 
you can see that all retracements inside the S&P 500, the ES mini out here, has found support at the bottom of its weekly profile. And right now, so it's interesting we're talking about the uh, bottom of weekly profiles out here. It doesn't show on this chart because it's going to take a little bit of time to form. But there is a new weekly profile that I'll share with you that is attempting to form inside the weekly chart. But right now, Mr. Bill, the first change in trend signal to go along with the spot volatility index 50-day EMA out here, a change in trend, which I, I'm, I'm assuming could be a really bad assumption here, which is what you're trying to get to. Well, that would – look, when you have the spot volatility index above the 50-day, it's always dangerous for the S&P 500. It signals, directionally speaking, unless there's some kind of bottom pattern, that price is going to pull back. But in order to get a change in trend out here inside the ES Mini, we would need to see a close below 44.52.93. Now, we know we can't get to 93, but in essence, 44.52 would be the number. Now, I'll switch over here, and this is going to get us our weekly profiles. And so if you look here, Mr. Bill, price is – so there's a brand new weekly profile that is attempting to form. And this profile, the week is not over. So I can't say that this is the way that it's going to look on Friday. But right now, this profile has formed below price. And that is a bullish signal to us. Profile, this should take hold. It's a weekly profile. And so I can't be certain about this. With regard to, I know a new daily profile is attempt to form, and I'm using my advanced Doppler tool, which is what I'm using here, uh, that the dailies won't get confirmed until the following evening, 6.01. I'm not sure about the weekly. It just doesn't happen often enough uh, for me to have, be able to have that rule. But I'm going to go with the fact that if this profile exists tomorrow, it's probably relatively solid. So what we know about the ES Mini at this stage here, it's tested the top of its daily profile, 44.98. And in order for there to be any real kind of traction to the downside, you looking for, let's say, an initiation move to the downside, you've got to get price to at least break that level of support. Not break it by testing an intraday, break it by closing below. So the number to be watching there is 44.98. If we get a close below 44.98, well, that takes us back to the weekly, the top of which is 44.84. So the real number, Mr. Bill, that I would say that the ES Mini needs to close below in order to get some kind of traction to the downside is going to be the 4484 level. Again, it's a new profile. It's attempting to form. We're going to use the data that we have right now. And if that unfolds like that, and that's a possibility, especially with the uh, spot VIX above the 50-day, then we'd be looking at a price target of around 4452 to 4467. That is the bottom of its uh, daily bullish structured profile out there. Now, to finish this off, even though this is a little bit more than what Mr. Bill was asking for, but, uh, you know, I don't know how to do anything other than just simply to be thorough. You know, there is something they say in life the way, or I say it, I suppose, and that is the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Now, you can think about that about yourself, but oftentimes when people say, what? What did you mean by that? Think about it about others in your life and think about the way they do anything and see if that is really the way they do everything. You know, procrastinators procrastinate. Anyway, you don't need me to go through all that. But here we'll take a look at the ES mini charts here. And really what we're looking for right now, while we know that prices tested support the top of a daily profile, we're looking for any kind of bottom signals. We have them on the 30 and the 60. They just haven't really taken hold. And the 60 is, what, is the one I think that is the most important to take a look at because it's really been the top of its 60 minute profiles on every bounce that has found resistance. That makes 45.19 right now. Right now a real key area to be watching mr bill i hope that answers your question steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be back in just a few steve rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master steve won the prestigious timer of the year award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 Finishing at number two for the year, an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, I got a question that came in here from Michael P. It really kind of ties in line with what we were uh, just discussing during that first segment. And Michael writes in, uh, selling at support levels is, in essence, is his question. He says, hello, Steve. People are talking about getting out of the markets ahead of the 9-11 anniversary. Um, you know, what I can uh, just simply share with you, uh, Michael, and everybody else that are listening, are these support and resistance levels to watch? And uh, then, uh, you know, you make your decisions from there. And so when we take a look, we were, we were really looking at the ES Mini, and we'll go ahead and finish this off here. So we've got the valid topping pattern. So and, and there's topping patterns all over the place out here. So you can understand uh, why the markets should want to move uh, to the uh, south. But in order for that to happen, we have to see levels of support fail. In the case of the ES Mini right now, and I'll just expand out the daily chart out here, Michael, its message to us is neutral. Now, I don't know that it'll be neutral at the end of the day. If price closes below the top of that profile at 44.98, it will not be neutral. But that is the first level of uh, support. Now, I believe these profile levels are probably different. Give me a second just to make sure. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, they are. And that happens from time to time. Now, this, uh, this is the Ninja Trader uh, software uh, package. But the 4498, that is solid. This happens to be showing a bearish structured profile. All right, just to, just to show you the difference, this shows the center at 4467. And on my black background charts, it's at 4467. Oh, that's correct. Okay. Hold on, which, oh, got it. The bottom of the profile here is way down at the 4377 level. And on my other charts is at 4452. Both are real, but we got to just stick with the 4452. But beyond that, Michael, and not to confuse you, which I'm sure that I did, my apology for doing that. Uh, that's just the way to make it a listen. If I confuse you, then, then you, did you say, oh, what did he just say out there? So uh, I'm, I'm just kidding about that. But price is above support. At the top of the daily profile, old resistance can become new support. Right now, that's what I have to call it. So if you did see a close below that, here's what you would anticipate. A move to 44.67, then a move to 44. 
33. It would really be the close below 44.33, Michael. That is the TD9 breakout level. That would be the one that would be of concern out there. Now, if that happens between now and uh, Friday, well, then you might have your signal that says, okay, you know, uh, time to be out of the market, not because of the 9-11 anniversary, but because price has broken through key levels of support. Is something going to happen over the weekend to make the markets tank on Monday? That I'm not good enough to, to share with you. And, and I just, I don't have any idea. But I've got to go with what the charts are communicating to, to, to us at this moment at 121. You know, you turn into each of these shows to get our analysis. I use a completely different set of tools than everybody else, but I do walk you through what it is that I'm looking at. So over time, uh, you'll understand how it is that I conclude those things that I do. Now, again, back here, and I said it just before we were going out to the break, that I think that the 60-minute time frame chart is the more important panel for us to take a look at. And that's because it's been struggling, the 60-minute chart, to clear any resistance level. So you've got a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator signal. We've had a couple of them, but we have another one, this one here for me, just so we were coming on the air at 1 o'clock. And you're inside a bullish structured profile. So if price can take out the level that it's at right now, it's at 44, 45.05. If price can close above, let's call it 45.08, 4510, something like that, then that would signal to you and I that price should make its way to 4519 inside a bullish structured profile with a uh, with a bottoming signal for its time frame that is resistance now if price can clear that level then that would signal move up to 1539.50 or 45.39.50 i'm not saying that's where price is headed to what i am saying is that if price can close above this oscillator and change line which is red price should be able to make its way to 45.19 and if price closes above that then we'd be looking at 45 39. So I would be paying attention for those of you that are intraday traders. Now, I know most of you don't have the TAS market profiles. They're an extraordinary tool because I couldn't help answer Michael's question about support and resistance unless I had this tool out here. You can see the 30-minute chart. It, too, has a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. The level that it needs to close above to suggest that there's a uh, potential bottom that is formed would be a close above 45.26 out there. So you're looking at 45.19, 45.26, and then 45.39. Now, let's stay with this set of charts out here, and let's go take a look at the NQ. The NQ is strong like bowl out here, but is it generating any kind of signal for us? Well, on the daily time frame out here and we'll pull this back just a tad so on the daily time frame we have a td9 count top that formed on bar number eight that was on september 1st and now what we have is price is below uh the green oscillator and change line so what does that signal to us well you know i don't have the profiles up here on this chart what we and in if price were to close below the level that we're watching today is 15487 15487 i'll show it to you again just give me a moment here to switch screens that is the bottom of the new profile that is attempting to form. So what I don't know is which market it is that Michael is trying to track. So we're going to go through each of these one by one. If we take a look at the NQ, there's a new profile, as I mentioned earlier, that is attempting to form. We use that information. Michael, if we were to see a close below 15,487, that could be signaling to us at least a short-term change in trend. But right now, that's a strong support area because it's a bullish structured profile. So that's a level that price needs to close below before anybody that says, hey, I should exit positions or long positions before September 11th, but you do have a con you do have a confirmed top. The question is always when you get a confirmed top is will price take out support? Now, one of the reasons why I'm a little hesitant to say that it will take out support is because of the way that the uh, Shanghai and the uh, Nikkei are trading, which both of those also formed TD nine count tops last week on uh, Friday. And if you listen to the archive on Friday, I said, hey, even though our markets are closed on Monday, pay attention to those signals out there, because if those patterns get negated, boy, that could be really giving a signal to us about the U.S. markets. And let me tell you, those patterns, I can't show you those charts right now uh, just because I'd have to restart something out there. But they've been moving to the upside. They're cruising higher out there. They negated their TD9 count topping signal. So here again inside the NQ, if we look for intraday time period bottoming signals, I don't have them. Don't have them like we do. Well, there's an A to B equals. I should take that back. My apology. Certainly, there are A to B equals CD patterns that have been confirmed. I forget this white background package that have on, uh, on NinjaTrader 8. I don't have that tool built in. So 
I take that back. There are A to B equals CD patterns out here. So where, this, where are the key levels to be watching? Well, 15,598 is going to be one level. That's the oscillator and change line on the 30-minute time frame. If price get above that, then you're looking at 15,613. That's the 60-minute oscillator and change line and bottom of its profile. If price can regain that level, then that would signal move to the 15,664 area out there. That's really all that I've got that I can clearly see inside of the uh, NQ. So let's not stop there. Let's go take a look at the YM, the Dow Equity Future Contract. As we take a look at it, here I do have the profiles, 34,949. That is the bottom of its daily profile. So, Michael, if price close below that for the Dow, I'll just simply expand out the uh, daily time frame chart. That could signal to you and I move back to 33,627. So if you were heavily invested in the Dow, well, you really want to be watching the bottom of this profile, this 34,949. Now, that's a level of support. And when price gets back to a level of support, we always want to look at the intraday time frame to look for some kind of signals. Because if there's a, if it's really support that's going to hold on the daily, we should see those bottom signals in the intraday time period. Guess what? You've got a Rosemont indicator bottom on the 60, on the 120, on the 30 out there. That's why we want to watch these other upside target levels for the Dow. I don't think I've given it to you. 35,147 will be the key level. Steve Rhodes with CFNN. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the market for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, my apology. I was showing the wrong screen uh, during the uh, last portion of that segment. We were talking about the Dow, Dow Equity Future Contract. Here is the daily time frame. So uh, you can see the clear level of support of 34,949. And so, Michael, everybody else out there, if price were to close below that, then the next support level that I have is the breakout area. That would be at 33,627. Now, look, that doesn't mean that as price gets down to this Three River Morning Star pattern and that low at the 34,494, that that might not be a stopping point. It could be. But I'm just uh, trying to answer Michael's question about levels of support or resistance out here. And that level of support for me would really be the 33,627 area. Now, remember, when price gets down to a daily level, then you go to those intraday time frames. And here you can see on the 30 minute, that's the right hand chart. You can see Rhodes momentum indicator signals. Price did bounce and it bounced right up into resistance, the 35,147. So that's a real key level to be observing to the upside. If price closes above that, OK, that says uh, more perhaps more more rally to come. Uh, so that's what I would be looking at there. You can see the 60 and the 120. They too have Rhodes momentum indicator signals uh, patterns that are in play out there. So let's finish this up by taking a look at the Russell 2000. Then we will have looked at each of the four equity futures contracts for their signals. Now, in the case of the Russell 2000, the bottom of its daily profile, it's not shown here, but the, that's the profile that formed yesterday you and I took a look at. So it's a brand new daily profile, and the support layer there is at 2252. You can see we're trading at 2253 right now. So Michael, everybody else, if price did close below 2252, where would you say price would target? And you're exactly right. The price target would then become 2163. Now you can see price is testing its green oscillator and change line. That green oscillator and change line is a level of support. That's at 2256. So if price is below that and price closes below the 2248 level, the bottom of the daily, there will be two levels of support that will have failed, and that's why it would open up the door for the uh, price uh, uh, for price to move back to its breakout level, and that's the 2163 area. From an intraday perspective. Uh, I don't have any bottoming signals per se. However, if you look at the five hour time frame chart, this is in bar number five, uh, bar number eight. There's going to be a, well, there's likely going to be a TD9 bottoming signal on the five hour chart as we come into today's close. So we've got the uh, we've got the two o'clock close and I'm going to have the market close. That will be bar number nine. There could be one further bar, the bar following nine. That would take me from six to eleven o'clock this evening. Um, so that's so there is a signal out there on uh, that time frame, a larger time frame, and that signal is occurring above TD9 or appears that it will occur above TD9 breakout support. That's at 20. Oops, what the heck did I do there? Sorry about that. And I'll just expand this chart out here. Here's the five hour time frame chart. And so on the five hour time frame chart, um, 2207.60, that is its TD9 breakout level. Typically, you've got an A to B equals CD to the downside. TD9 count that is likely to form. So what I'd be watching for there for a signal would likely be a bullish reversal candle uh, because then that would confirm the uh, the uh, buy the D point for the Russell 2000. So watch the 2248 level. That's its real key. So how do we summarize everything? Well, we summarize it by going back to the chart that uh, I had painted on the screen earlier. And that's this one, the four daily equity futures contracts. And right now, Key levels of support are being tested and everything is held. And to summarize that, inside the ES Mini, you're watching 4498 today. Inside the NQ, you're watching 15487. Inside the YM, you're looking at 34949. And inside the Russell 2000 equity future contract, you're looking at 2248. So I hope that helps everybody out. And uh, Michael, thanks so much for writing in and asking that question. Hector and the fuel injectors. Hey, Patty, how you doing? are writing in to say happy, happy wild waffling Wednesday. I haven't been to a Waffle House in uh, quite some time. We need to take a road trip and try Do you like the Waffle House or uh, what's the other one? What's that other, what, the, the bigger? Uh, what is the, uh, well, they have all that uh, old candy up front. What's a, oh, uh, shoot, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, it's on every uh, major highway. And I know what I'm trying to say. I just can't think of it. Cracker Barrel. Thank you, Jimmy D. Uh, well, I hop, I guess that. But it was I was thinking Cracker Barrel out there. And uh, so which do you prefer? Well, uh, now it's a choice, right? Uh, do you prefer I hop, Cracker Barrel, or the Waffle House? In any event, that's not what Hector wrote in about. Hector is asking, Apple 
is today a perfect bearish engulfing candle in Apple. Uh, let's go take a look at it. Let's go find out what the Apple one is doing. So AAPL, yes, this is a bearish engulfing candle. Why is that important? Well, really probably for a couple of reasons out here. The question is, can we find an A to B equals CD pattern where that would uh, top that off? Um, and, and we can, I suppose. So the A to B equals CD pattern, this is the one that I would be really looking at at this stage here. Uh, the A point down here on March 8th, the B point out here on April 29th and the C point down here on May 12th. So we're at the 1 to 1.618 level. So the answer is yes, we have a sell the D point or a butterfly sell pattern out here inside of Apple. But really, Hector, what you and I want to do, and if you're asking me where's the next level of support or where is a level of support, on the daily time frame, it's the top of its profile, 149.01. But there may be other levels of support that we need to take a look at. So let me get to my radio show charts out here. That'll take just a moment. And let's pull over the charts for Apple. Okay, so here we've got Apple. And uh, so what are the differences between the screen that we just looked at, the black screen out here? I don't have the oscillator and change line program there. But why did Stevie come up with this tool out here? And the reason I came up with this tool was to understand or attempt to understand when was a retracement just a retracement and when was a retracement something else, some other kind of signal. So Hector and Patty, in addition to an A to B equals CD pattern that we're able to identify, and there's a couple out here, what we also know is that price has been rising, doing less relative strength, and that has generated the Rhodes momentum indicator signal. And so today's bearish engulfing candle confirms that as a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator top. However, and this is a real important however, and the reason that I developed that green and red oscillator and change line, because when price just pulls back and tests and rejects that green line, a bearish signal, such as a Rhodes momentum indicator top or a sell the D point, becomes neutralized because price is above support. So there are two levels of support inside of Apple that we want to watch. The first level is that oscillator and change line. That is at 154.19. If price were to close below that, then the signal there still says, still says we have a rising price oscillator. That is bullish. But we don't, well, it would, it would actually it would say we have a price oscillator above zero. It would not say we have a rising one. When price closes below a green oscillator and change line, it says we're, we're now neutral and turning down. Doesn't mean that it's the top, just that it's turning down. And you look for your next level of support. So, Hector, the next level of support would be 149.01, the top of the daily profile. Below that, 144.93 to 145.75. So in Apple, on the daily time frame, what we want to do, just like we did with the Russell 2000 or we did with the Dow, price is hitting one level of support. What's it doing on the intraday charts out here? Well, in this case here, we could look at a 15-minute chart. Turns out that on a 15 minute chart, you've got a Rhodes, you've got a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Now, what has price done? You see on a 15 minute chart, see how that oscillator changed on it changed from green to red. Mr. Bill will tell you this. When you see that, you can expect price and that line to catch up to each other. So right now, price is testing resistance. Hector, if price closes above 154.74, where is it headed to next? 155.53 would be the likely scenario and above that, 157.08. Steve Rhodes with TFN, and we'll be right back. We'll complete looking at Apple. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we still have the 15-minute chart here for Apple up on our screen. And you can see that price right now is attempting to uh, get above its red oscillator and change line. That's at 154.77. And uh, this will close, uh, this candle session will close in a little bit less than uh, two minutes and 20 seconds out here. So if price closes above the red oscillator and change line. The reason why I suggested that uh, price would move up to 155.53 is because it's a bullish structured profile. It's hard for you to see the top of the box. It happens to be right at the TD9 breakdown area of 157.08. Uh, and so we know that if this is just a, on the 15 minute basis, if this is just a counter trend move, price could find resistance at the bottom of the box, absolutely. But my experience is that price finds resistance at the center of a bullish structured profile that price is closed below. And that's the 155.53 area. Now on a 30 minute chart, again, we're looking at the intraday time periods here for Hector and really for anybody you know if you're trading the NQ you certainly want to know what's going on inside of Apple for these different time frames a 30 minute chart out here although I can say it didn't form a bottoming pattern doesn't have a TD9 count you do see a TD9 count present but the low of that count did not take place on bars 8 9 or the bar following 9 nonetheless it did top with a uh, TD9 count, but price pulled back and has tested support, the breakout level. Sometimes that can be a bottom. So you don't always get necessarily a pattern. You just have price pulling back to the breakout level. So on a 30 minute chart, if you were to ask, hey, where's the breakout level for Apple? We would have said 153.87. And so far that is held. Here on a 30 minute basis, you would be watching 155.50 or so. That's the green oscillator and change line. Green oscillator and change line, different than red. Green says if you close above it, you now have a rising price oscillator for this time frame, and that is bullish. And then price would go target the top of its bearish structured profile. And so resistance is between 156.77 and 157.08 or 157.10. It's TD9 breakdown level. A 65-minute time frame chart. I don't have a bottom pattern here, so I've got nothing on a 65-minute chart. On the 130-minute chart, price is pulled back after developing a roads momentum indicator sell signal, but right back to support. The bottom and center of its bullish structured profile. So another level of support for Apple. And on the 195 minute chart, uh, price is testing support, the center area of its uh, profile out here. So in the case of Apple, a lot of levels of support have been uh, tested and it just gets back to that green daily oscillator and change line. You know, maybe you didn't have the intraday signals out there, uh, but the daily says, and that's the reason, Hector, why the signal so far inside of Apple is neutral. 
We've got a valid topping signal. We may not have a, bull, a bearish engulfing candle at day's end, though, but right now we do. And so the signal is neutral. If we don't have a bearish engulfing candle, period, uh, there is no bearish signal. There is no neutral signal, and Apple will remain bullish. So you'd want to kind of watch out for that. So, Hector, I hope that that helps you out with regard to Apple. And uh, uh, hopefully you and Patty have a, a great uh, Wednesday as well. Uh, so looking for other questions here, none that I see. So uh, what do we do uh, next? Let's go take a look at other instruments. Let's go take a look, for example, let's go take a look at gold. And let's do my eight panel chart out here as we go take a look at gold and a few other commodities. So let me change this out here before Mr. Bill bops me upside the head with a two by four and said, this is happening for you. Oh, we've got a request from John in the den to take like a natural gas. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Then we'll come. Ah, oh, I did get to the wrong chart or the wrong screen. Jeez Louise, Stevo. All right, let's try this one more time. Here we go. And uh, now we got in the white set. Now let me just get to natural gas here momentarily. We'll come back to uh, gold. So in the case of natural gas, here we go. So as we look at it, what do we know? Well, let's take a look at the daily time frame. We're looking at the October contract for natural gas. And what we know about it is this generated a TD nine count top two. And yesterday it generated a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. But voila, why was that not a short? Why was that, that not a confirmed short or change in trend signal? Come on, we just, we just went through this. It's because price never got below the oscillator and change line never closed below and it is green. So that generated yesterday's signal and the one from two days prior only generated a neutral signal out here. This is the value of this oscillator and change line out here. And a price right now is above the top of a new profile that is attempting to form. So on a daily basis, this is going to extend to wave number seven, letter G, that can be a top out here. But again, any kind of top needs to see a close below the oscillator and change line. This is a bullish signal that we're taking a look at. This is a bullish pattern on the daily time frame. If we look at weekly as an example, let me just update uh, this here to get rid of some uh, well, actually updated, Steve-O. Bar number three of a TD9 count, it's above profiles. It is bullish out here. If we come back to the monthly time frame chart, the levels to be watching, now this is the continuous contract. And so the level to be watching here, it's price target. This is something that uh, John and I, uh, John in the uh, Tiger's Den, took a look at the last week, I believe, is uh, this candle session right here from November of 2018 at 4.929, you're at 490 right now, but it closed above 4.929. That's going to signal at this stage here a move back to the next swing point. And that next swing point is a 2014 level, and that's all the way up at the 650 area. So you're really watching, in the case of natural gas, you're watching uh, 4.929. Let me go to my other charts and actually see where is the October contract here. Well, I guess I can just look at it. Uh, another way but I'm just uh, so you're 4.94 so you are already above that you are above that level so so you know that that's the problem with using the uh, continuous contract here uh, so price is already above that why is it showing 4.89 oh I was looking at the wrong contract my apology. So pray I, I my apology prices this is correct these prices are correct 490 sorry about that John so we so we know that that's the uh, that's the price target again let me just go back here my apology i confuse people the price target is still that price needs to close above to generate more bullishness it's going to be 4.929 out there that's your level of resistance that was set up by that bear sash candle that swing point out here but if we go take a look at what's going on from an intraday time period so we've covered daily weekly and the monthly we're just looking for any kind of signal so the 60 minutes you've got a td9 count top john price would have to close below four dollars and seven 78 cents or thereabouts, the oscillator and change line, to suggest to move back to 4.609. You have a TD9 count on the 120-minute time frame. Again, still bullish, but this suggests that price should pull back to test support around 4.74, its oscillator and change line. No signal on the 240, no signal on the uh, five-hour, and no real signal on the 30-minute chart out there. So a potential couple of signals to watch. 
Uh, what do you look for that uh, says that those are going to maybe come to fruition and pull back? I'd watch the 30-minute chart. So we'll expand out the 30-minute chart. Why would I watch the 30-minute chart out here? Because when we take a look at price and we take a look at the oscillator and change line, that's where price is pulled back to and is tested and so far has rejected that area. So no topping pattern on the 30-minute, but we're just looking for clues out here as to, hey, what's going on? What, is price going to move lower like the 60 and 120-minute chart suggests? Well, if that's going to happen, a key level of support needs to fail on the 30 minute chart 4.888 the oscillator and change line then 4.816 so those would be the levels to be watching to anticipate what natural gas might be doing but other than breaking those support levels everything looks uh, hunky dory so john i hope that that helps you out with regard to natural gas when we get back from this break here unless we have a, a phone call or an email request we'll go take a look at the uh, goldilocks and it's a panel charts out here Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So let's start off with the U.S. dollar index, and then we'll go to gold. So what do we know? Now, here are the components that make up the U.S. dollar index, the largest component being the euro. What do we know about the euro? That's your upper left-hand panel. Formed a TD9 count. It did on the bar following bar number nine. That then typically sends price back to its oscillator and change line, which has unfolded so far. 
That's what's taking place this morning. Price is tested and rejected. Now it's a red oscillator and change line. As long as price remains above right now, 1.18016 to be exact, then support is held. And that suggests that the euro could bounce higher or could have bottom. This could be the C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. Could be, not saying that it is. Have to go look at the 30-minute charts and the intraday charts to make that determination. But what we do know about gold here is this also, this formed a TD9 count bottom and price is at resistance. It's oscillator and change line. Now, if price closes above that, well, then that says maybe the euro is going to go ahead and break its oscillator and change line. Otherwise, the bounce could be over. TD9 counts are supposed to take it to the oscillator on change lines. That's what has occurred here. Well, if that's the case, then that should be good, should be good for gold and silver, precious metals. So now let's go take a look at the gold chart. That's why I wanted to look at the U.S. dollar index. What do we know about gold? Well, on a daily basis, it doesn't show on this chart here, but price at support. We covered that during the open, which was the bottom of its daily profile, which is 1786, and the center of its bullish structured weekly profile, 1788. So price has held key levels of support. That is gold. And it's with inside its daily profile. So that may signal that price is just going to consolidate and move up to 1802 or 1817. From an intraday standpoint, the 30 minute chart has a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. The 60 minute Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. 120 Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. The 240 minute chart, price is pulled back to test breakout support of 1785. The same thing on the five hour chart, uh, price is pulled back to test out its breakout support that was 1781. So gold is signaling to us that it's getting ready to move to the upside, and the U.S. dollar index is signaling to us that it's getting ready to move to the downside, and the euro headed to the upside. Folks, I hope that uh, helps you out. Stay tuned for two more great hours of programming. I'll be back with you on Terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.